you went skiing for the first time. I was going to go skiing for the first time with your stepdaughter, Samantha. That was the plan. And then I went on a trip. Things got busy. The snow was melting. The pandemic started and it never happened. But then I heard that you got to go. So please explain that little uh, adventure for you. Oh, sure. Yeah. So for spring break this year, instead of traveling far away, we went up to Lutzen and and my stepdaughter, she loves skiing and she's very good at it. I, you know, we had, so it's Melissa, myself and Lucas and her, and she brought a friend and basically there, um, we were there for a couple of days. You, you check in at nine or nine 30, get your equipment if you rent it and can ski till about four, four 30 and then they shut it down. So I thought ah, I should maybe try skiing. And I went to check what lessons are and there. I mean, they, they seemed expensive for somebody who'd probably just try skiing. It was had to be a hundred bucks or something, but it was like maybe 90 bucks if you go a little bit later, but that was between one or two. And I was like, well, okay, then, then it's almost done, done with the day. So I thought, okay, I'll try. I'll just, I'll just watch videos on YouTube and figure out how to ski <laughs> by, by watching all these beginner tips on YouTube. It look, look pretty easy. I mean, you probably watch YouTube to set up some of the stuff you're doing now. And I know, um, you know, like my kids and especially Samantha, she watch YouTube. She watched YouTube to learn how to cut her hair, you know, with people staying in there. I did a video early today with my hair, like after workout standing up like six inches. It looked like <laughs> six, six inches. So. You talked about my new haircut, which we can talk about in a little bit. <laughs> I want to know, know about your, your skiing and your YouTube education. Yeah. So it sounded all good. And then they took me, I got my, you know, got my equipment takes seemed like forever. Got it. Lucas got his. We went to what she said. Oh, this is the easier hill there. If you look at Lucy, if you ever go there and look up the hills, there's some big hills to a guy who's never skied. And maybe that hill was okay. And I got all geared up, like I'm ready for this. And then she's like, wait, don't go straight down the hill. You're going to go too fast. And I, so I started going. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. So I just put fall <laughs> down. And then it took a while to get back up because she said I shouldn't get the sticks. Like I don't need them. But I think when you fall down a lot, you'd need your sticks if you go skiing to help you get back up. So I figured out I'll like mangle my body to get up. And then I started again. And then I go sideways. She's trying to say how to shift the weight. And I saw that in a video, just harder doing in real life. So I go sideways like into like the embankment where there's trees. But I fall <laughs> down in time. I don't hit a tree. I'm like, this is not going well. Please just get me off the hill. How am I going to do this? So by, by that time, Lucas just zipped down there like like he's been skiing all his life. And he's Lucas straight, is your eight-year-old. Eight-year-old. And he skied like a couple times, maybe maybe three. And he just... And Samantha was helping me to her credit. She was trying to... I'm sure she did because I'd get up and I'd fall down. I'd get scared that I'm going to go too fast. And then like if you get closer at Lutzen to wherever you're at, there's like at cliffs. Like if you didn't know how to ski and just kept going, you just you know, fall to your death, I think, or, <laughs> or maybe fall in a snowbank and just break a few bones. So, so I got down to more level ground at one time. I literally had to like, I, I created a new move. It was a good workout. Like I crab skied down where I was kind of on my back with, you know, legs elevated, you know, there's different workout moves or I, I don't know. I can't do it on this video, but I got down there. I was like skiing, but on my butt, but kind of butt skiing, but kind of lifting myself up. That's what I did. So I got down the hill then when I got on kind of flat ground, I stood up and I it was just a little decline and I skied a little bit. And then it's like, OK, but then when I got too flat and I had to get on the ski lift because she's like, the only way is you got to go up the ski lift and get ski patrol to come and get you and take, take you. Take you down. <laughs> so some lady had to borrow me her stick so I could get through the like the pass. You, you, you got to like show your path, not show it. You got to just like, you know, go yeah. through it. And I got on there and it was, that was the best part of skiing, being up there, looking at all the hills. And then Lucas, my eight-year-old, when we had to get off, he said, okay, dad, you got to kind of lean forward. So when you get off this thing, you just ski right off. Like, okay. I think I can do this. Sure enough, we kind of leaned forward. I just wiped back out on my back and there goes Lucas. I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, so thankfully there were workers working on that ski lift. And I just sat there for a while and I'm like, hey, how do we call down? And some some guy was going to go down anyway, probably for lunch or coffee break. He's like, hey, you can ride down on my snowmobile. And then, you know, when you get down to the chalet, everybody's looking at you like, did he get hurt? <laughs> no, I'm just a big buffoon who can't ski. So, no, yeah, that was it. That was my skiing experience. I think I will try again on a more bunny hill, like locally. Uh, but I don't know. It was, I did not have a good experience. Will you watch more YouTube videos to learn how to ski before the next time you ski? 
I would just go to like Taylor's Falls is our closest ski place. Um, and I would probably go there and practice that they have more smaller hills for somebody like me there. Or I'll just like say, I'll never go again. I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> so you can't just give up. I, I could. I don't know. Well, maybe. <laughs> Let's get into the the main. Have you topic. skied before? No, I haven't. That's that you. I I was planning to do it this winter, and then you had that experience before I did. So I, I wanted you to share that story because yes, I'll, I'll try to learn from you and be a little more prepared. Maybe so I, I should cross country ski, not downhill. <laughs> One of the two. I I don't know. We'll try it again. 